In this video, I will show you how you can configure or register your Active Directory with your McAfee MVision Cloud Dashboard. So for that, I need to just log in with my account on McAfee MVision to configure the settings. So I am using my account. This is my account which I use to register with McAfee MVision. Now I will use my password which is already saved. And uh, once I uh, entered the correct details, so now I just moved uh, on my dashboard of McAfee MVision. And here you can see there are the certain settings and these all are related with uh, various purpose. So first uh, for registering the Active Directory, I need to go on the menu and I will go on the uh, directory service inside the configuration. So I click on the directory service. Here I need to put the new server name and I am putting over here info alias dot local. Uh, this is uh, my domain active directory domain name. So I always recommend you to put such kind of things that will be easier for you to identify your directory on your uh, uh, McAfee MVision dashboard. So after putting the name, you can you can even mention the notes over here. Uh, and I'm just leaving it blank. I'm going to click on the next. Here, uh, you need to, uh, to specify the domain directory name like uh, info alias dot local. Here you need to put the, uh, your uh, uh, DNS domain name uh, like uh, what I entered over here. It might be your domain name, Active Directory domain name will be different. So you need to put over here and select systems. In the select systems, you need to select the uh, domain controller where you have installed the agent. If you remember in the McAfee EPO when you were just using only the IP address and host name or an, and user and password for your Active Directory to putting uh, to extracting the details from your Active Directory. But nowadays in EPO and Vision Cloud, you need to install the agent on the Active Directory domain controller and then you need to select the systems and uh, select the domain controller over here. Now click on the OK. Uh, see, currently it is saying that uh, status is uh, not installed. So you need to click on the deploy. ADC deployment take about 10 minutes. Once the deployment is complete, you can uh, test the details by putting your user account and password of your uh, Active Directory. So I, I, I'm just repeating it again. In the EPO orchestrator, when you were using EPO uh, orchestrator in your uh, uh, in your environment so you were just using only the IP address and account details and then you were just synchronizing and integrating the Active Directory. Now in the EPO uh, MVision Cloud you need to install the agent on the server domain controller uh, where Active Directory is hosted and then you need to just deploy the product and then you need to uh, put the user account, password, and all the details when synchronizations will happen. So you can schedule it over here. And you can specify the sites as well. So uh, we need to just wait for a while for deploying the product on my uh, domain controller. So uh, after installation, it will show that deployment has been successful. Currently, it is showing that deployment in progress. So once deployment will be in be uh, deployment will be in progress. So you can just verify the things what exactly is happening on your domain controller. So you just you can go on the domain controller, and uh, you can click on the McAfee agent, and uh, now go on the status. See here it is just downloading the AD connector underscore x64 uh, dot msi file and uh, it is just verifying these all details and it will just install it and you can see the progress installation is in progress and uh, now uh, here the last thing that we can see over here it is saying that uh, Active Directory deployment is uh, going to be finished 
and uh, now I will go on the deployment progress bar over here and uh, similarly uh, you need to minimum add uh, two domain controllers so in case of any one domain controller goes down so you can uh, you can synchronize your Active Directory uh, with the secondary domain controller so I always recommend you to uh, select an one more domain controller currently you can see there is only one domain controller is showing over here uh, because I am aware about this is a domain controller so you are also uh, aware about your infrastructure what is the name of your domain controller so be careful you need to just select one more domain controller for uh, for multiple uh, multiple instances of the active directory so it will be easier in case of uh, any failure one of them so uh, here I will go on the another domain controller and I will install the agent on the secondary domain controller as well <coughs> Here I am just putting my password. And uh, so I'm just going to install it on this agent. And uh, so agent is going to be downloaded. Now I will click on the install tab. So this will install the agent on the secondary domain controller as well. Now I will go on the uh, Envision dashboard where I can see uh, the status is showing now installed. So similarly we will add one more domain controller by selecting um, this uh, from this options by select systems and here you can select the secondary domain controller as well. Currently in my environment this is just installing the agent on the secondary domain controller. Here you can specify the SSL if your Active Directory is configured with SSL. So you can, you can put the check over here and now use global catalog. I always recommend you to select the use global catalog over here. Here you need to specify the domain controller uh, account here. I will specify like info alias start local slash administrator administrator here is I will specify the password now you can select the sites as well so it is just searching the sites inside the active directory sites and services and uh, we need to wait for a while now you can see the default first site is showing because only one site is configured in my active directory infrastructure so i can select the sites and um, now here you can specify the synchronization schedule over uh, by selecting the enabled options and specify the uh, date and time when and uh, on which day you want to synchronize your active directory objects with your uh, mcafee mvision uh, cloud here after putting this all details you can just uh, click on the test connection so you can just verify the connectivity between your active directory and uh, uh, McAfee Envision Cloud. Here you can see the test connection successful. It means our Active Directory domain controller has been integrated with the McAfee Envision Cloud. Now click on the save option. After saving this option, so you can see uh, it is saying that uh, uh, test connection successful and these all are the details which I specified. Uh, later you can just edit it as well and by clicking on the actions option and here there are the three tab one is the delete you can delete the active directory integration here you can edit the integration in case if you have changed your domain controller for your active directory so you can edit the options as well here you can click on the re replicate now and by clicking on the yes and uh, it will show that resource replication triggered successfully for directory server so this is the way which you can follow to integrate your Active Directory with the McAfee Envision Cloud. 
in the upcoming video we will see what are the benefits for integrating your Active Directory with McAfee MVision Cloud. Thank you for watching this video.